You might remember a few weeks ago we introduced you to Katie. She's a comfort dog from Fremont. Well, now she's back in Nebraska and Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Miner caught up with her and has more for us tonight. Rachel, how was Katie? Rod and Megan, Katie spent a week serving at Stoneman Douglas High School in the Parkland community. I met up with her today and three of her handlers to talk about their time in Florida and what they've learned from the entire experience. After some well-deserved time off, Katie the Comfort Dog is getting back to work. She recently returned from serving in Parkland, Florida after last month's tragic shooting. Katie went as part of Lutheran Church Charity's Canine Comfort Dog Team. They were there as staff and students returned to Stoneman Douglas High School for the first time since the shooting. We had 10 dogs in a hallway lined up as the teachers came walking in and you could just see kind of the relief on their faces when they walked down the hall and, and saw us there to greet them. On the first day of classes, Katie was placed in a room where two students had been killed. Deb Hoyer, one of Katie's handlers, said having her there made all the difference. Petting the dog just helped release some of that emotion and they felt safe. While Katie was there to provide comfort, there were a few lighter moments to be had. The tennis coach invited all the handlers and their dogs to practice and everyone got to have a little bit of fun. To see um, on that video and hear the giggling and the laughing, I mean, that's the first time they did that in two weeks. A lot of the kids, staff, um, adults would say, this is the first time I felt like I could smile or laugh. Bringing a smile and a few moments of peace to a hurting community is Katie's biggest mission. After leaving and reflecting on their trip, Dawn said they learned just how strong the human spirit is. Good always wins after evil happens. All of Katie's handlers say that even though they're back home in Nebraska, they still keep in touch with many of the survivors. They each say they left a piece of their heart in Parkland. Oh, no doubt about it. A great story. Thank you so much.